Welcome back to more Guild Wars 2. We have to jump down this guy's mouth. Now this is um, one of the more interesting things is this is a follow the will-o'-wisp puzzle. He's got quite the personality, but despite that, it's actually very simple to complete this with only a couple of points where you can actually die, and it's regardless of your health, it takes off a percentage. It's a very straight line, other than, say, this point, where we have to follow him. This way, if you want to escape now, I'm pretty sure, in fact, I'm 100% sure that's always the same way. He takes you the same way, it's just scripted to do that. But what I'm not sure of is if you can get ahead of him or not. I know you can actually miss the trigger points for certain audio dialogues, but that's fine. He will keep on moving. In fact, there are points where you will actually be out of range of where his audio comes from. It does not come from the orb. It's a rather obvious gamey thing. This is also where they introduce the concept of false walls. We'll see those in a decently short time. Let's see now. Right, there's a perfect point of where the audio was significantly, physically, behind us. It looks like a solid wall, but it isn't. They just did not make it solid. Which, you know, aids with the creation of the puzzle. Well, apparently his first mate only made it this far. It's not right, it's to the left, and this is one of those you can miss. If you don't go far enough, he will double back and you can completely miss that dialogue. Now, if you're not paying attention, he ducks behind here. I'm pretty sure all his rum is gone. It has been a long time. Chompy is a skeleton, as well as Shane. And the guy's gotten very forgetful. So I'm pretty sure it's been a long time since his rum's been in a drinkable state. But apparently he does have treasure. Simple, short, jumping puzzle. Now you can get a little confused here if you don't remember that stalagmites are very often platforms for jumping. And there we go. We now have access to the next location. And this is where you can actually die if you're not careful. Now, even when these things are fully extended, they can hurt you. Tr it's actually one of the more annoying parts, because you think when they're fully extended that you can just sneak through, but it doesn't always work like that. Although here I do a pretty good job, I've had other runs that have been significantly worse.
Especially around this dark corner here. I think he's supposed to provide be providing you some advice, but he doesn't do a good job of it. Yes, those things hurt. A good amount, too. And that one was just completely and utterly invisible. Now this one is actually timed to where you can make a good solid run if you don't stop in the wrong spot. See what I mean there? They were fully extended and they still hurt me. Again, just demonstrating that for your purpose. I'm ready to roll. Rufo, now, wait, wait, where are we? Oh, 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 I see. Rufo, I knew he could make it, I know. Now, there's actually a couple of ways you can approach this next particular situation. I tended to go up, even though this is not the path you're supposed to take. There is a path down and across, but I'd kind of forgotten that that was kind of the path we needed to take. So I slipped and fell. Again, falling probably doesn't mean you're death, but it does mean you're starting this little puzzle over. Not that it's particularly hard. Now this one is an annoying one because you get a very small bit of seeing it and then he shuts the lights off. Fortunately, I have a gun which produces light. As you can see. Not all classes have a feature such as this. For example, a necromancer doesn't. And that's a fair annoyance uh, when you're a necromancer. You just gotta use your area of effect circles to try and see the right location which makes this puzzle even harder but if you've got a gun or any form of light source you're doing pretty good what also helps is that if your gamma is tuned right you can see the vague outlines of some of the platforms in front of you And then he just turns the lights on at the end, or when you're halfway through, whenever he feels like it. We've come to the final test. Dead man's prop. For I trust ye to share me plunder, ye will have to trust me. Two of these holes lead to instant death, and one will bring ye to me treasure. But how will ye choose? Just remember where ye are. And that will be your answer. It's the right path, because it looks like where we came into. I don't actually know if the other two lead to death or not, but this one leads to treasure. Now, he's got some lines he comes in and says, but... Particularly taunting you that there's no way out. So we're gonna end up dead. He doesn't know that waypoints exist. And we get some interesting items. A couple of greens, a couple of blues good treasure for a simple puzzle. But we'll see you guys next time. This is Stomping Llama, signing out.